Hello everybody, Slothalopolis here with the Average Gamer Guys. I am trying so hard to bring you Halo Wars 2 content. My PC is currently re-downloading the DLC for the third time. Uh, it seems like uh, it had a big issue uh, populating into the store and into the marketplace all of yesterday and my pc just can't handle it today um it's struggling a lot and for some reason it's it's just not accepting it it, it keeps popping up as corrupt so um i may have to reinstall the whole game we'll see um 343 and creative assembly have shown uh difficulties getting dlcs out and populating the marketplace and doing all that stuff so up till about two o'clock last night trying to get all that all done i'm just gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way um so we're back on the xbox and we are looking at Serena. Uh, Serena is the second character after Sergeant Forge that we got uh, from Halo Wars 1 that we actually lost in that game. Uh, so it's kind of a non-canonical leader. And uh, we're going to see that continue on with uh, with our leader next month, which is going to be super great. Uh, so Serena is an expert in cryotechnology. And that's the first thing you're going to see. Uh, there's ice everywhere. Uh, everything she has is ice. That's the first thing you're going to notice. And the second thing you're going to notice, she has three units. Three. Um, she has not, uh, not a big focus on specific units. She has a heavy, heavy focus on leader powers. So um, we'll kind of go over this really quickly. Um, she has a couple different starting armies. Um, one is the Frost Raven that we'll talk about in a few minutes, and the Vulture. Uh, that is a 200 energy consumption starting army um that's actually really impressive that's kind of nice um very similarly we have sub-zero which is a kodiak a starting army with a kodiak uh two wolverines and two of the cryo troopers um so that is actually really interesting uh my personal favorite if you are able to pop out some units early game is the blizzard starting army because the vulture and because the frost raven and uh, we'll go over that here in just a second uh so this is the cryo trooper the first of her three units that she's going to carry they're basically hellbringers that shoot ice instead of fire <laughs> it's not uh not uh super innovative but uh it's it's kind of neat um they actually do more freezing and they actually do more damage um than we're going to see later on uh, because a lot of serena specific units don't actually do a ton of damage they're just setting up other enemy or other allies pardon me to be able to kill these enemies because they're going to be completely frozen and you're not going to be able to be attacked. Um, so that's kind of cool. So next we have the cryogenic detonator. Again, it's a mine that, that blows up with ice. Um, this, this has actually been pretty effective um, in, my, in my time using it, uh, which has not been too terribly long, but it actually has been pretty effective. Ice barrier is very similar to uh, the colonies card, um, which was, uh, we had the, the, the living wall um, it's going to be very similar to that but what i thought was very frustrating uh, with the colonies version of this is you started you selected a start point and you selected an end point and very often it there was always something that was preventing that particular set from happening so it always felt like i had to be on exactly flat ground and open ground to get that laid best thing about the ice barrier is these ice pillars drop one by one and you actually select where they go so you get three barriers you set the first one down and that first one actually gives you line of sight in a small area around it so if i can see the area to set the first one i'm going to be able to set the next two as long as i'm putting them in a respectable area uh, so that's that's actually something that's really effective for this uh, which I just I didn't feel like was great with the colonies version. Um, so I do feel like they, they tweaked this a little bit and did a better job. Seismic Blast, 60 energy. It's going to remind me a lot of the Arbiter's ability, um, which I think was 70 energy. Uh, real fast, just does a little bit of damage. Uh, and it's just kind of something there to, to soften up guys or finish guys off. Now, low energy, and it says that it blasts target area to damage enemies shattering frozen enemies for massive damage so this is going to be something that we're going to see a lot with serena is shattering frozen enemies and this is going to be a cool little wombo combo i think that i'll talk about here in just a moment uh, but this is kind of a kill shot um, if you if you do have a lot of energies 
or a, a lot of enemies that are in there frozen and you have just a little bit of energy throw down that seismic blast and just shatter a ton of them um so this is kind of the the straw that breaks the camel's back for for a lot of enemies which goes great with the frost raven so you're gonna see initially first glance you're like wow low energy and it's not good against anything uh please remember this is a support unit this unit freezes enemies and that's it uh it's it's not it's not going to kill hardly anybody uh it just is is not going to uh but it is going to freeze enemies so that's why i think the starting army with the frost raven and the vulture combination is so solid early game because the frost raven can freeze an enemy while the vulture kills other enemies or while the vulture combos with the frost raven to take down like a scorpion because if the frost raven is freezing that scorpion the vulture is going to tear it up and that is really really nice but the issue with that start particular starting army is that you're going to have to to drop some energy into some early game units because you're going to need a scout you're going to need somebody to go grab energy because obviously those two air units can't do them together uh one big thing to note is that we do have the shockwave missile ability on the frost raven it fires a missile that deals damage and chills enemies shatters enemies that are already frozen we're, we're going to see that a lot. That's that's going to be something that's there. So that is that is going to be a good combination with the uh, with the seismic blast or cryo bomb. Damage and instantly freeze target enemies. This is a pretty good AOE, and it's 110 energy, um, so not too terribly expensive. But if I'm if I'm sitting with this and seismic blast in my hand and 170 energy i'm going to drop cryo bomb on the largest amount of enemies possible and then turn around and hit them with a seismic blast because i'm going to freeze them with cryo bomb and then i'm going to shatter them with seismic blast uh so that's a cool little wombo combo i don't like that there's there's kind of a lot of things that have to go into that like i have to have that 170 energy sitting there i have to have a bunch of enemies clumped up i have to have both of these cards in my hand at the same time uh, so i mean there's there's a little bit there but with that said these cards are good by themselves too um, so i think that just adds another layer of strategy into some of serena's uh, leader powers now glacial storm is my favorite card for serena creates a lasting storm that chills and slowly freezes enemy units um so my initial question when i first looked at these was what does lasting mean how long um obviously it, it can't be permanent um that that would just be way op but what what is it actually um and it uh i'll, I'll have to to play around and get a, a timing for you it feels like a long time i will say that it, it does last a, a pretty good amount of time and it's a pretty substantial area of effect so what i have particularly used this for if i have control of b i am going to select the area that is the choke point between their spawn and uh, b or op ridge or c they all get bottlenecked right there so if they want to skirt around me on b in any way shape or form they're going to have to do that unless they go all the way across the map so if i see a big uh, like a, a massively built up army coming through that bottleneck this card lasts for a long enough time i'm gonna go ahead and pop it down in that choke point and say if you want to come get me now you have to go through these very narrow alleyways between a and b now and if i'm set up on op ridge that fight benefits me incredibly uh, and I mean, obviously, if they go around the map, too, if they're going all the way around to your side, to your kind of bottleneck between your spawn and B, you have plenty of time to set up for that, too. Um, so this card is incredibly effective when used in choke points and when used at the right time. The other unit, the third unit that we have for Serena is the Bison. 210 energy. It has no special uh, add-ons to it other than a standard shield, but it does have a leader power um ability thing here whatever we want to call that a cryo burst it converts between a mobile vehicle and cryo chill modes um, i'm going to be really interested um later on in this week when doc and i get together and we do the unit comparisons as we do with each of the dlcs i want to see how good this leader the the hero sorry how good this hero actually is it's it's a strange hero unit um it's 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 a little wild because it, it doesn't have any special add-on other than shield um and the 
the energy consumption is not high. It, it's it's pretty low at 220. Um, so I, uh, if if it had shield and it had rally or um, guard or something like that and it was low energy, I would instantly know at a glance what to expect from this thing because they were giving it other abilities to try and balance it out and just lower down the energy. But not having too too much to it and only sitting at 220 energy for a hero unit, I don't know what to think about this. Um, this this is going to be, I, I think, an, an, an interesting one to test out. Um, so those are actually the units that we have for Serena. That is it. So I'm actually a little surprised. Usually we get about this number um, of about eight eight cards i think that's pretty standard um, for what we can normally expect but not that many units and it's mostly leader powers and and i don't know how effective i'm gonna like ice barrier i think it is pretty well done um compared to the colonies version in the living wall but i just don't know how much i'm gonna use it the cryogenic detonator is nice i don't know how much i'm gonna use it uh the cryo troopers I, I don't like the Hellbringers. Um, I, I just, they're not effective in, in general combat for most circumstances. And I, I kind of feel that way about the Cryo Troopers. So, I mean, that's almost half of her cards right there. And I, I think if, if I'm going to build the deck, obviously it's too soon to start talking about deck build and stuff just because we don't have enough time invested in the leader. But Seismic Blast, Frost Raven, Cryo Bomb, Glacial Storm, and maybe the Bison. Um, I have to do more time with the Bison to decide if it's if it's worth that 220 investment too. So I, I don't know about Serena. We'll have to see. I think she's going to be a really good leader to combo with a good damage dealing leader. Um, so if we if we combo her with uh, with Colony or somebody like that, that can be really defensive, but can spit out a lot of damage while I'm freezing all of the enemies, I think that's probably the best way to go. Um, so I'll leave it here. I just wanted to go over everything real quick with y'all, and uh, I'll try to bring you stuff as quickly as I can and as often as I can as soon as we can get this up and running. So I am Slothalopolis for Doc at the Average Gamer, guys. We do appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff if you so choose, and we will see you next time.